Hello, I'm Jose Sosaya. Tucson police are asking for the public's help trying to find the person responsible for a fire set at the Delta Bar and Grill. You see the video here. This damage forced the business to stay closed with electrical and structural fire damage. Tucson Fire Investigators says the suspect set it intentionally. Firefighters working to stop the Contreras Fire state containment lines are holding strong. While people living in the Pantac area are able to return to their homes, staff working in the observatory on Kitt Peak are still waiting for the all clear. Here's Joe Hoshite. He's worked on the observatory's telescopes for the last 15 years. He says he and five co-workers were on shift when they got the call to evacuate, and he says it was up to them to bring down as much of the expensive instruments as they could. Summer's here, so are stomach bug cases that spike this time of year. Kega 9 talked to Dr. Nathan Price, a pediatric infectious disease expert at Banner Health. He says a variety of viruses tend to circulate during the summer months, but especially the norovirus in kids, which is highly contagious. He says hand washing, not sharing food, and washing your clothes in hot water are some of the best ways to stop the spread. City leaders in Tucson are holding a community meeting at Literacy Connects at 530 this evening. They want feedback on the 15 mile project that would connect Tucson Airport and Tucson Mall. Anyone who wants to attend should RSVP with Literacy Connects. We have that information on our story right now on Kagan9.com. After working through the night, the Arizona legislature voted on bills related to the state's budget. Among them are proposals for funding roads, education and border security. During the third reading of bills, senators passed several new ones, which include the now renamed film tax bill. SB 1708, now called House Bill 2156, passed the third read. You remember, it would create tax rebates for companies who make films in Arizona and hire local crews. These bills now head back to the House. Governor Doug Ducey weighed in this morning applauding the passing of a quote targeted and forward looking budget for the 2023 fiscal year. Ducey says the state budget makes strategic and fiscally responsible investments on education, border security, paying down debt and more. Finally, check on our weather. Another reinforcing shot of moisture that'll lead to more shower and thunderstorm activity across southeast Arizona today and through the weekend. Thunderstorms today should affect areas from cells down to the New Mexico border. Some storms will generate strong erratic winds and locally heavy rain.